fish was caught about 12 miles outside of Point Loma yesterday. Uh, we saw it up finning, took three runs at it. The first run we missed with a harpoon. The second run we sped up the boat and it blew up and we thought it was gone and it floated back up again. And the third time we just idled up right behind it and got a nice tail shot on the fish. Nice. About six hours of towing the gear. We pulled <laughs> it at six o'clock last night. It's now five o'clock, so 23 hours this has been out of the water. Wow. Wow, that's great. You can see how fresh it is, but how red the blood still is. A little bit of blood that's in here. It's not. See how red that is? Mm -hmm. So this is the, the harpoon hole. This is the, yeah. So from the, out, from the outside. That's, that's where we drill them. So you're standing on a big tower and you're... standing on a plank. And you, is it like just propelled with your arm or is yeah. it... Is no, it's by hand. You try to drive it through. I figure it's about an 11 foot hole. And you put a dart on the end and you're kind of always just push it through. Be because the fish was so squirrely, so spooky, it was really hard to get on. We were chasing it for a long time and it just it stayed up like a dumb fish. It was its day to die. But he got, we got close enough to get a decent shot at it and we took it. It didn't matter where we get it. As long as we got the dart and threw it, so we didn't get it. No, anyway. Got it and actually lodged it in the back bone. And, and then you follow it and pull it up. Yeah, you put it, it's got a hundred fathoms of rope with it. It's old sisal rope that picks up water, so it's a lot of drag in the water. And then it's got buoys and a flag. So you just let it swim off until it dies. 